in my previous lectures i have shown you how to draw the sfd and bmd for the beams carrying point load and uniformly distributed load today we are going to draw the sfd and bmd for a cantilever beam carrying a gradually varying load as you can clearly visualize we have a cantilever beam carrying a gradually varying load from zero at free end to w per unit length at the fixed end now let's take a section x at a distance of x from the free end b since the rate of loading for a span l is w per unit length which means the rate of loading for span x would be equal to w by l into x or simply wx by l per unit length the shear force at this section x would be equal to total load on cantilever for a length x from the free end b which is equal to area of this triangle bcx so shear force at section x would be equal to 1 by 2 into base of this triangle which is bx into height cx equal to 1 by 2 into x into wx by l which will be equal to wx square divided by 2l and it will form a parabolic equation and let's mark this as equation first at point b the value of x is 0 so on substituting x equal to 0 in equation first we will get the value of shear force at point b equal to 0 at point a the value of x is equal to l and on substituting x equal to l in equation first we will get the value of shear force at point a equal to wl by 2 to draw the sfd we will start from the baseline ab since we have calculated shear force at point b equal to 0 so we will mark this point as 0 and at point a the shear force is wl divided by 2 so we will draw wl divided by 2 to some scale above the baseline at point a and we will join these points by a parabolic curve as clearly indicated by equation first which shows us the variation of shear force between points a and b by a parabolic curve now the bending moment at the section x would be equal to minus times total load on span x into distance of this load from x the total load on span x would be equal to area of triangle cbx and distance of load from x would be distance of center of gravity of triangle cbx from section x distance of cg of this triangle will be x by 3 from section x and this negative sign indicates clockwise moment so bending moment at section x will be equal to minus times area of triangle bcx which is calculated earlier as wx square divided by 2l into cg of the triangle cbx which is x by 3 equal to minus times wx cube divided by 6l which forms a cubic law and let's mark this as equation second at point b the value of x is 0 and on substituting this value in equation second we will get the value of bending moment at point b equal to 0 and at point a the value of x is equal to l and on substituting x equal to l in equation second we will get the value of bending moment at point a equal to minus times wl divided by 6 to draw the bmd we will start from the baseline ab since the bending moment at point b is 0 so we will mark this point as 0 and the bending moment at point a is minus wl divided by 6 so we will draw minus wl divided by 6 to some scale below the baseline at point a and after joining these points we will get the resulting bmd so this was all about this tutorial if you like my content please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future thank you